high school standout basketball player is shot dead on New Year's Day in Valrico. He was a sophomore at Brandon High School, and that's where we find News Channel 8's Mary McGuire. So, Mary, how are students there dealing with the loss? Well, they are preparing to go back to class this morning for the first time since winter break, and many of them may learn that they have lost one of their classmates. Deputies identified the victim of Sunday shooting as 17-year-old Jaquan Johnson. The teen played varsity basketball for Brandon High School, and according to his profile on MaxPreps.com, he was a sophomore at Brandon High School. Deputies say he was shot and killed on Cabbage Palm Drive on Sunday afternoon. Johnson wore number 23 for the team, and the team's Twitter account tweeted a tribute to him on Monday. The tweet reads, hashtag once an eagle, always an eagle. We will never forget you, hashtag soaring high, hashtag number 23. Now the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office has not released a lot of information about what exactly led up to that shooting on New Year's Day, but we are told that the suspected shooter did stay on scene and is now being questioned by Hillsborough County detectives and that the medical examiner's office and also the state attorney's office is assisting the sheriff's office in this investigation. But this is just such a tragic story, Gail especially when you think about the fact that this man was only 17 years old. He had his entire life ahead of them. We expect it will be a very difficult morning for a lot of students out here at Brandon High School. Sure, a lot of kids stay unplugged during the holidays. They might not even know about this, and they're going to get to school and hear this terrible news. All right, thanks, Mary.